number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon. This the is Park. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 219 pounds. Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York. Assassin! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. He lands a switch knee. Head kick, that's a miss. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the take, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jump. Big leg kick lands. Oh, huge block! Got the single collar tie. Uppercut is true! Big shot lands. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Oh, Superman punch! That was a thudding leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. Just missed with the left there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this match. 
All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's gonna be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's gonna control the engagement from this 50-50 position? Pretty good right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Great punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, You've man. You got to check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you, get you. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh! Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Massive knee lands from tie clinch. When those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. It almost looked like he went lift there for a second. 20 seconds left. Clinch. Single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Four sounds for the end of round one. Take a deep breath and relax. This round, you really want to use your striking. You're a better boxer than he is. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would easily match. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they separate. Body kick is blocked. a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Over and over, he's landing big body kick. Oh! All oh, collar tie. Nice punch, man. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Connects with a right. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Way to hide that leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Checks the leg kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent he's walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well 
with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Big punch lands through the middle. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Guys, really throwing with authority. So a much different approach. Oh, 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 oh. He's out there, DC, and one more of those he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yep. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got the tie clinch. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, big punch land. Caught that kick there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his <laughs> opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Beautiful body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go here. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. She just misses there with the left. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's a big strike right there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strength. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Got the single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. And they separate. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Oh! oh. Over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here, staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Able to land the single ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 
Oh, and potentially a critical takedown here. The left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a pistol back in court. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice kick. Lands flush with that right hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And they separate. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. You're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice straight punch. What a body kick. Nice job staying busy here in the clinch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Takedown defense holds up. Real quick leg kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice. Nice leg kick lands. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shots to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Lands the right hand. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. And they separate. Switching stances here. Straight punch land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Able to check that kick as well. 
Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And there comes the separation. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it. Now he's got him hurt bad. Oh. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, single collar tie here. Under four. Oh, shot to the body. He told us he was going to be champion. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh! 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 And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that other play. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Real nice body kick lands. Big punch lands. Ooh. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. She deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big kick lands. Game of inches. Damn, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, blocks the shot. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single. Oh. See the land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Stuff to take down, no problems. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Nice strike. Well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. All right, let us now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. There's no give on that leg kick. Steady. 
Single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, a huge block there. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. Just looking to recover. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. sure the opponent saw it coming so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight and there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party.